We've elevated to wizard status. Welcome back to Create Arcane Engineering in this amazing looking skin made by the zaps of this, this wizardy mini-me. I really appreciate it. I think it's such a cute skin and I think we'll be using it for the remainder of the series. Although it is going to be covered mostly by armor, uh, but I am very excited for it. And it is very fitting because today I want to get into chapter two or chapter one magic path uh and that's because i don't want to get left behind i mean we could push as hard as we want with all this tech stuff but i feel like the magic path is the way to go especially because i think in like chapter three here we can check i think in chapter three we automate the eternal St oh no it's chapter four we automate the eternal stella well anyways i want to get to this integral chapter because it gives us a storage system and of course we want ours nouveau and i believe ours nouveau requires tech 2 magic 2 so we'll try to even things out oh my gosh there's so much to talk about okay so bookkeeping made a lot of andesite alloy made a lot of kinetic mechanisms so we got a lot of stuff to work with and to get really going into magic chapter one which i can never find uh we need to get ourselves a spout which you can see we need some sealed machines so we need to get this cured rubber up and going or this menril enriched rubber and i believe it's actually a part of ironically it's a part of this chapter here that we really start getting into stuff i definitely want to do this two times output Let's see. Yes, our boreal extractor on the mineral tree. That is what I was expecting. Very nice. So pretty much we just need to get the rubber automated and then cook it. It's not terribly difficult. We just need a lot of these arboreal extractors. And I am going to pull from our amazing little iron farm here. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. I can still count because these guys are going to need some buckets. We have a lot of buckets, but you can never have enough. Especially because I am intending on making no small amount of arboreal extractors. Well, I was trying to keep that nice and clean. That did not work. Uh, also, uh, as of talking right now, we are at uh, five subscribers away from 10,000 subs. I have I have the counter pulled up, keeping an eye on it. I want to get that. I want to get that beauty shot. <laughs> uh it's been it's been a long day it's been a long day but i'm finally back playing some arcane engineering i know you guys have been waiting i know you guys have been waiting but i just i had to get that chicken core technology out in the world it was necessary sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program but i have a huge 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 announcement we have a supporter server or we will have a supporter server on august the 12th a members only modded create server is going to open up for all the members and supporters of this channel on any platform if there are any platforms you know if you're watching this way in the future and there are other platforms there's that too but for now it's just members little join button next to the subscribe button it's got create it's got terror it's got some add-ons and as an added bonus at the end of the month so on the 12th of september i'm going to go through all your builds and and make a little video on what you guys have made. The theme is trains, because we've got steam and rails, which is such an amazing one. Uh, so I want to see what like train builds you can make. It doesn't have to be a train build. Like You can build whatever cool thing you want. But the theme is trains. So that's my little challenge to all the members. Um, and even more exciting, it's a sponsored server provided by Bisect Hosting. I've used Bisect Hosting for the vanilla server. Um, that is, you know, I, I just picked them because they're a great service and we're partnered with them now. There is a link in the description. You can get 25% off your first month with the link. I get a little commission from it since it's an affiliate link. And I just want to say thank you to Bisect. Thank you to the members past present and future and thank you to you guys for making all of this possible it is seriously insane to get to announce all of this so just uh all right all right get back to the video all right 16 machines is 16 arboreal extractors uh maybe maybe enough in truth it might not be who knows this is a very difficult thing because our boreal extractors take forever forever to process their resources why am i going inside when i have a bucket oh because i because because i hold on there we go so 16 buckets conveniently a stack and we can make a huge amount of our boreal extractors beautiful i feel like it also might be time to get a proper smelter set up just to take care of this copper uh so do i have a fan no i don't have a fan okay 
Now we have a fan. Literally just hit 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> so if you were, if you were in the Discord when I, w I was posting about it, then uh, hey, congrats! Uh, you were you were hanging out with me while I was recording this little episode. All right, let's get a really goofy looking. Uh, let's get a goofy goofy little smelter going. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh, it's too goofy. It's too goofy. Also, I should probably check this is blowing in the right direction. Oh, how nice. Oh, how kind. There we go. There's a goofy little smelter. It'll only do one stack at a time, but that's all we need of it. That's, you know what? I, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my goofy little smelter. Okay, now we got to find an actual, like, place to do this. Which I'm having a surprising amount of difficulty with. I, I mean, all we need are, like, two really good tall trees that we can kind of build ourselves. Uh... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, well, I mean, I guess, bleh. you know what? I don't think we need to automate the crafting of this. So I'm thinking we could put it wherever we want. I figure I'll just put it where I was keeping our little oak tree farm in the first place. Oh, I forgot about this little guy. Forget about the little guy who could. Uh, I think I'll just chop down like two oak trees or something. Although you need leaves. Hold on, let me grab some shears. So here's the hoping I remember how the arboreal extractor works. I think I do. Like I'm 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 mostly confident in my ability. Uh it should this should be a super, super simple thing. This should be a super, super simple thing. We're just gonna set it up on this side of our house. Cause it's just that simple. Right. Right. Like I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all you need. Aw. Does it need to be a naturally generating tree? That'd be that'd be like a little annoying. Cause in all the recipes, see, in all the recipes, it's that. Does that is that just saying like it needs to be a tet? Wait, do different trees give different? Oh, oh, different trees give different amounts. Wait, why do I hear fire? Why do I hear a lot of fire? Is it my wooden house? <gasps> no! 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 Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, please! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Shoot! Shoot! Oh, it's turning into ash! Stop! Don't put the smelter next to the wooden house. Okay, well, it looked like the best tree to use was spruce. And I think we have a spruce, a sapling. Now... I don't know if it's specifically a spruce, like, little tree or specifically a spruce big tree. I'm going to hope you could use the spruce little trees for it because otherwise it'd be a tad annoying. Thank you for the absolute smallest little tree. Um, so I guess I'm just going to sit here and wait to see if it makes 25 or 50 millibuckets. It makes 50. Okay, cool. It can be any tree. It can be any tree. Okay, I've got a little arboreal setup here. All of these arboreal extractors are connected to one another through this nice piping network. And the pipes are all connected to pumps, pipes, basins, you know the deal. These are going to be for the belts. But we're out of belts, uh, so we kind of actually have to, you know, do this to get there. Uh, I'm thinking of using this water wheel and large water wheel, both of them to power this machine uh like just bleh, connect them well connect them with belts i guess is what i was planning so you know i'll need to figure that out but <laughs> just to get a bunch of su as well as a decent amount of speed then we gear ratio it beneath it, it you know the deal it's a simple little setup but i think it looks nice i think it looks clean and that's what we all care about. And honestly, this should be enough for the rest of the game. Like, this is a lot of arboreal extractors. I remember from above and beyond, I had four that I ran for like an hour and never needed anything else from. Now, I'll admit, you definitely seem to need a lot more of these extractors uh, just because you use the sealed mechanisms for like steam engines and stuff. And, of course, that is really going to become our premier form of producing stress units. In fact, I'm really excited at this pro prospect of getting uh, those set up. Uh, oh, actually, that is wrong. I'm trying to set up a proper gear ratio here. Uh, that's too high up. Too high up. One more down, please. 
And while I'm just waiting around for all this stuff to craft up, why don't we do our Q&A of the day coming in from the Discord, which has probably hit 700 members by now. This one's being asked by Pan Pan. What is my favorite contraption to watch? Like, just turn it on and admire it. It absolutely has to be tree farms. They spin, they break, they make a nice sound. They're just nice sensory. It's like a clicky button, almost. That's what it feels like to me. Like, the tree grows, it goes. I love it. Okay, so I should be able to connect the up. Oh, okay, cool. I can connect them together. Speeding up this fella here and combining their stress units together so they can power just a little bit more. And we shouldn't have to touch that ever again. It's still not super fast. It doesn't have to be, though. I mean, look at that. Five rubber over here. There's already like almost was it 26 rubber yeah that's amazing now something to check can belts be made out of the mineral rubber okay perfect so we should just mineral all of our rubber just checking all righty now we can get all of this cooked up uh may as well set up the smelters here and now that i'm thinking about it it would have been super smart to like prepare you know to be able to put um a shaft here we could use cogs. Or, well, no, hold on. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. We just need more belts. Okay, so I need... Okay, I need to cook the belts to make the belts. Or, no, I need to make the belts to make the belts. You have to cook the belts anyways. Oh, shoot. Uh... Well, we'll do this instead. You want to be difficult? Be difficult. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't work. Ah! Brrr. Got it. The ultimate plan. We'll just spam some gearboxes. Actually, this would be better with chain drives. It's a it's a process, okay? Create is an artistic, refined process, alright? Like that, and then like that. See? And then the fan goes on top of it. And it pulls downwards. And is also too high up. There we go. Nope. Place it. Down. Send me upwards. Uh, okay, but I got it working. Just a gearbox, a little bit of chain drives, easy, speezy, lemoning, squeezy. I, it's child's play. It's child's play. This is a mod for babies. Highly intelligent babies, but you know, maybe I'm a highly intelligent baby. You don't know. Also, I need more chain drives. I don't want to deal with you. Not that I ever want to deal with you. This isn't new information. Ow. Excellent. Okay, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. My master plan. Of course, I had this expertly planned from the start. This is not flying off the seat of my butt. Oh, you thought I was going to do it there, didn't you? You thought you were like, oh, the Jojo is going to swear. This is something I'm deeply invested in. All right. So now we can get the belts down here. And this is the part where I realize I don't know how to hook this up. Hold on. It might be gearbox. Is it a are we are we in a certified gearbox moment? Nope, not there, please. I would prefer it to be here. Certified gearbox moment. So we'll know we'll have to have a drawer here and a drawer here to filter out the cured rubber, right? Then those will going to need to output to something that will bring them to a spout that will um not wash what's the word it'll, be, it'll goo them it'll put the mineral goo right that's what it is yeah you gotta mineral goo them what is that a quest oh okay get a mineral goo them and the mineral goo you can get from an arboreal extractor no less so that's not bad at all oh that's a lot of mineral goo a hundred mineral goo mm. Maybe that thought process needs to happen, like, right now. Maybe we want them to, like, move in one. Ugh. I can't believe it. We ran out of the redwood. Oh, my God. All right. Let's do it. Let's chop another redwood tree. You know what? Right as I got here, I thought of a much better idea. I just thought of a... Oh, I just thought of a much better idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, you guys ready for some genius? You guys ready for some genius? Check this out. Check this out. Mechanical sticky piston. Give it one. Chest. Place it down. 
glue the chest to the saw. Boom. Crank. Other way. Uh, you guys aren't ready. My genius. It, okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Trying again. This time it'll work. Probably. Oh, uh, yes. And everything. I am so smart. I am so intelligent. I am so cool. All of this just goes right in the back. I'm not wearing my backpack. Okay, cool. These guys are all filtered out now. We can place this there and there. Oh, I like that it kind of moved the stuff back a little bit. So I will I will get the lava flowing. I think I think we should just start the process of getting these guys all set. Excellent. Okay, cool. So I would then have these guys, I suppose, output to a belt here and a belt here. That still leaves like a two block. I guess there's no perfect center. And considering how much we need, I'm thinking what we might do is have our mineral tree grow here, right? Because that's one, two, three. That's these blocks taken care of. Mm. That little bulky. It's a little bulky. I mean, we could get a little bulky. We could get a little bulky, a little crazy, a little wild. We'll just borrow some of these excessively excessive mineral saplings and see where we go. This is create. We're, we're sketching, you know? Once again, this thing... I mean, this thing might be permanent on account of the fact that it probably is going to produce us everything we need forever. But well, who knows? This house definitely isn't permanent, which is why I'm very happy, like, pleased even to just desecrate it entirely. Alrighty, there's one majestic mineral tree. Hmm. Is it the torch? Sometimes it's the torch. Ah. There we go. Beautiful tree. Beautiful tree. I think this can be hooked up to 14 of these. I, I think 14 would be the magic number. I don't know. I didn't need to make that many buckets, but mm -hmm. that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's that's one of those bad signs. Uh, oof. That one hurts a little bit. Man, I made, I'm, maybe I made a few excess arboreal extractors then. Hmm. That's going to be quite slow. That is... I'm pretty sure this is like every cycle, this does one, right? The mineral enriched stuff is, yep, yep, it's one. Huh. So every arboreal cycle, we get one mechanism. That is a little slow for my tastes. Does that mean I will do something that one may call slightly drastic slightly insane i don't know i don't know if insane i don't know if we're gonna go insane but i think we are going to increase our prospects i have i've been told that when you automate you want to automate big in this pack like you know we're probably going to be spending a lot of time on each factory considering it seems like this pack's intention is by the end of it like large assembly lines large factories okay this immersive weathering stuff is losing its charm with all the leave bits everywhere i, I but um <laughs> yeah not bad not bad I, I i think this is better i think this is better so the idea would be then that they output onto a belt right here we have a spout here's a belt right and then drawer drawer just like that and then later we can even uh set this drawer controller drawer controller that go into like one drawer somewhere else in the world it's just you need quartz for a drawer controller and i don't want to bother with the nether in this episode and nicely they actually give you a mineral enriched uh rubber as a reward 
So that is super duper useful for drawer locking. I imagine that's actually why they do it. I, I at least I'd have to imagine that's why they do it. Make life easy. All right, we got to get some more stuff going on. But the spout, I believe, is a hopper and a sealed machine. Oh, you even get two of them. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Wait a minute. All I had to do was hold some of them and get 32. I should have just held the ones that we already had. I forgot about that. Well, there we go. Life is easy. Life is good. Boop and boop. Spouts are spouts. Very nice. And a U. And a U. And now it's just another simple task of hooking everything together. I would say this is not a bad job at all. Ooh, look at all the mineral resin. Ooh, look at all the mineral resin. That's actually, that's not too bad. That's not as bad as I thought it might be. Uh, it looks like it is pulling out of everything. And good, good. That's very important. So, yeah. Okay, last thing to do is take a stripped log. Turn it into a machine and run off with the goods. Ah, creeper, no, creeper, no, creeper, no, creeper, no. Don't blow up my wrench. I threw my wrench out of fear and I need you to, I need you to, just, I need you to work with me, creeper. My house burned down today. I hit 10,000 subscribers. You can't blow me up. Do you know who I am? I am embarrassed at how real that fear was. Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was a little bit too too real oh sploosh <gasps> sploosh yeah we did it <gasps> we did it yeah we did it i have to have a bucket of the stuff to Meh. Meh. can i like sploosh a bucket out of you here that that should fill a bucket that should fill a bucket bloosh thank you cool and i could put the bucket no no. Oh, dang it. Now I just have a... Now I just have a bucket of really pretty looking water, actually. Oh, that's nice. But that does mean we get another uh, toolkit. I want to get fortune in some way before doing that. Oh, I should have checked this. Oh, we did all of this. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get it later. But that should mean that we can get the full complete of this chapter, which is really nice. Well, you know what? I may as well make another sealed machine... Because I would really like to get um, this chapter completed, and I needed, or I'd rather, I'd really like to get this mineral resin bucket out of my inventory, and that kind of relies on. Oh wait, I forgot. I could. I'm gonna make an item drain. What are you? Okay, we'll we'll deal with that later. I am kind of sleepy, D Jojo. I'm not gonna lie. You're you're getting. I know. I know it has. Sleepy D Jojo has not made an appearance in a long time, but he is. He is here. I just want to use this time to say thank you so much to the members of this channel. They are helping this channel and me become closer and closer to becoming a full-time content creator. So if that's something you'd be interested in, subscribe and become a member.